Light myself on fire. Huh. A nice little toast. Wow. I didn't actually expect anything different. I mean, slightly different, but... Hmm. Well, welcome back. Good morning. Still out here at my uh, parents' place in Virginia. And this morning we're going to have a little smoke and uh, continue reading my uh, book on Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, it's a great read. It says, uh, A Life of Ulysses S. Grant, American Ulysses, by Ronald C. White. The research that he's done, it must have taken him five or six years, or, or longer maybe, to get the amount of information that he's gotten out of to us, the public, about Ulysses S. Grant. Overwhelmingly thought of as a drunkard and prolific cigar smoker. But reading through the history and the accounts, it's clear that, like in many cases, especially in the service, jealousy and interconnectedness between friends can go a long way to destroying 
someone's career. Early on after the Mexican-American War, Ulysses was forced to resign by, from allegations of his uh, drunkardness. Of course, we all know now what later happens. He becomes uh, head of all the Union forces and then later on United States president. Now you enjoy him on the <laughs> on the 50. I believe he's on the 50. I haven't seen American money in so long, I can't tell you. What am I uh, smoking today? Well, this is a Padron. I am a huge Padron fan person and have sampled and enjoyed nearly every blend that they have except for the 90th, the 50th, and the 85th. But uh, I have quite a little uh, collection of aging cigars currently. And Padron is featured heavily in that, uh, second only to my Dunhills. This particular blend is it's a Maduro, but uh, this blend is only available from brick and mortar tobacconists that are a part of the uh, Tobacco Association of America. So I thought, well, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that in Japan. So I purchased, purchased it the other day when I got the other blends that uh, you saw from uh, the tobacconist there in Williamsburg. I'm going to have to get some more of these. They were also available in the natural um, selection and now and also this Maduro selection. And this right away has, is a little more potent than normal for me when you consider the majority of the other blends. There's a, a spiciness on the retro hill. I'm getting um, black pepper through the nose in the back of my mouth. On from zero to ten, I would say a four, a four to five. This is early on, but from my taste experience with the padrones. That's about twice the amount of pepper that they usually have, I think. This is the aroma is reminds me of the aged uh, 1926 series, the, the Maduro version of that. But Maybe a little more plum and raisin mixed in sweetness. Not the flesh of the plum. The, I mean, not the skin, the flesh. You know, the sweet the sweetness of the flesh. Hmm. Well, let's see how it goes. This will be one of the videos that I cut together, and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. <clears throat> Moving into the second third, finishing the first third. Uh, this stick, by the way, is a uh, 6 by 46 ring gauge. And don't rush it, like with any smoke. Don't rush it. Sip it. I shouldn't have to tell you guys that, or you ladies. But 
if you happen to stumble upon this and you are new to the hobby, that's good advice. I don't always heed that advice and then I pay the price. I was enjoying the, this, the first third so much just after I would gotten into it that I was rushing it and then it turned bitter on me really quickly and that bitterness lasted 10 minutes you know but now it's calmed back down it's moved into a white pepper on the tongue and the retro hail and it it still has re retained some of the dark fruit note, you know, kind of more dried fruit now, raisin, on the retro hail. Uh, the only flavor on the tongue is the white pepper. But we'll see what happens through the, uh, the second third. Hummingbirds are uh, trying to get in what they can before the rain comes in. Got scattered showers coming in in about three hours, supposedly. And I think here in Virginia, even though it's still hot, the dogwood over there tells you that fall's coming. Or you got a little bit of orange on the leaves. And then they'll, this particular one will turn dark orange. Fall's a beautiful time of the year. In Japan, too. But when I'm in Japan in the fall, it does make me miss home. But I get a little bit of a, a, a fix on it because uh, I'll leave the area that I'm in and I'll drive up through the mountains and then I can sort of get that uh, Blue Ridge feel with uh, all the different colored maples and sycamores and oak trees. And also the uh, bamboo turns this golden yellow color. It's really, really, really pretty. Well, we'll see what the second third gives us and we'll get back to you. from me rushing through the middle portion of the first third. This has been a good stick. It's been a Padron. Finishing up the second third here, it has turned into a medium, a medium body smoke that has a still keeping that that dark fruit note um, now almost uh, prune like on the smoke oh, he's good looking there's a couple of big males here the hummingbirds, they have this big bright red breast and uh, you don't think about it in in nature but no matter no matter what it is there's always a, a fight for dominance 
and these hummingbirds, especially the males, they fight to the death. If one of them doesn't give up, the other one's going to die. And what happens is they just battle and battle and battle. And I believe, you know, since they don't take a break, you know, their little hearts are just going 90 miles an hour. And I think finally they just give out from exhaustion and, and die. I'm not sure if that's exactly what happens, but that's what I think happens. Maybe the frogs will come back before we cut to the last third. Almost a burnt now like a burnt chocolate. <clears throat> Which if you were enjoying chocolate you wouldn't want that flavor, but it's it's pleasant flavor, you know. In the tobacco hobby. Well, to me. Not to some, but to me. Maybe the frog will come back on the last third. See you in a little bit. Well, we're done. Rain coming down. Finish the last third. Sort of. And I gotta say, I enjoyed it. I think I'll pick up a few sticks to take back home with me and uh, put them in the humidor or the tupper doors. I don't have room in the humidor. And uh, enjoy them in a few years. The, uh, the last third mellowed out, um, went down to uh, low medium mild, medium, dark fruit, still present, a little bit of dark chocolate, and uh, sort of a, a tip for not most of you, but some of you uh, who may not be cigar uh, smokers is just like with your pipe smoking, you know, once you once you reach the last third of the bowl, you need to slow your cadence down. That way you you can still enjoy the flavor without without firing up the rest of the uh, tobacco in your bowl or the cigar, you know, because you've got a lot less material in the way that if you keep up with the normal cadence that you have, it's gonna it's gonna get hot on you. You're gonna lose flavor. So you need to slow the cadence down and also draw in half as much. And I think you'll enjoy the last third of your bowls and cigars a lot more. Next on the agenda is to just watch it rain today. Um, well, I'm not gonna watch it rain all day, but got to get down to uh, one of the houses and take care of some things. This is really my last day to do anything. Tomorrow I'm just going to relax, prepare myself mentally for the trip across the uh, globe back to Japan and start life over again in the land of the rising sun. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna load up the uh, Peter Stokeby uh, Luxury Navy Flake. 
named here St. John's Flake, but it's the Peter Stokeby Luxury Navy Flake. So that's what we're going to load up next and enjoy that while I get an, another cup of coffee. This one's done pretty much. And continue reading for another hour or so and then load up the Jeep and head on out. I would like to uh, thank you for joining me again and as always please like and share if you enjoyed the video leave a comment any suggestions that you think would make the videos better and if I can uh, accommodate that those requests I can I will um, and that's it later